So between the pandemic, the labor shortage, supply chain issues and minimum wage increases, a lot of restaurants here are still struggling to survive. As ABC 10 News looks at ways to help people and businesses make it in San Diego, reporter Jared Aaron shows us how one restaurant is embracing technology to keep the doors open and giving customers something to talk about. Here comes your meal. The newest employee at Tofu House near San Diego State can't take your order or refill a drink. Please take meal on the first layer. But it's helping owner Tony Gwynn survive a number of problems brought on by the pandemic. When I'm thinking about doing business, I try to apply as many as technology as possible. The Dash XL robot carries food from the kitchen to the table, up to 80 pounds at a time on its four trays. Wynn needed it because the post-pandemic labor shortage made finding workers difficult when his restaurant reopened. It costs $600 a month, far less than the one minimum wage employee it replaces. Wynn says the savings help him keep food prices down and the doors open. And never calling sick, never have a day off, you know, it's the work and fight every day. Tony says the robot will never fully replace human servers. You still need someone to actually place the food on the table. And he says customers will always want that personal interaction with a real human. Excuse me. But even with servers, embracing technology is vital for small businesses to survive. Technology is not a foe, it's a friend. SDSU professor Ira Volk wrote the book, Hospitality 2.0. She says service industries are typically more high touch than high tech relying on personal interaction, but new hardware and software can help them survive post-COVID. There is so much that technology can do for us to increase customer satisfaction, to help these businesses become more efficient, more effective, and more profitable. And it's less of a deterrent for customers who are now more tech savvy than ever. It's in your pocket, it's on your desk, it's in your home, you talk to Google, you talk to Siri, you talk to Alexa. The customers are just getting more and more used to seeing those things. Here comes your meal. It's also a good marketing move. Wynn says sales are up since he got it, as people come to Tofu House just to see the robot. Why they eating? They see the robot run around and deliver the food to a dollar table. It's kind of a unique experience. And good for a laugh. The robot even interrupted our interview to get back to work. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it set the time, you know. A new futuristic employee for an industry in the middle of an evolution. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. The way he was holding it there makes it almost seem like a pet. Uh, Tony says he only knows of a handful of other restaurants in San Diego that are using robots as servers. Now, he is holding a contest to pick a name and is offering a gift card to whoever comes up with the best one.